it's day two of our Advent Rum Reveal. So hopefully you checked out day one to find, and find out what we actually got in, in our secret bag, or, or our version of the Advent Calendar. So if you checked out, we're good, then you know that we got Largo Bay Strawberry Rum. So we did a little research, and we're actually a little bit kind of researching confused, I guess. Not so much me, but again, between what's on the bottle versus what's on the Googles on the interwebs. So uh, this is made by, on the bottle, according to the bottle, it's produced and bottled by Largo Bay Rum Company. But according to the interwebs, it says it's produced by the West Indies Rum Distillery. So I don't know. So I don't know what the difference is. If you guys know, hit, hit, hit me up in the comments there and let me know. Correct me, educate me. So, all right, so what are we gonna make tonight? Go ahead, we're gonna go find out. All right, so, Strawberry is probably one of the hardest flavors to try to pair up with something. And I didn't want to cheese out on you guys and just do a strawberry daiquiri because you would have definitely called me out and said I didn't even try and do an effort, make an effort at this. So I well, borrowed a recipe from the Roman Candy Rum Company. Uh, they're based out of uh, Louisiana. And I met them actually at the recent Miami Rum Renaissance Festival where they had actually some strawberry rum too and other flavors as well. So... I checked out their site after Googling Strawberry Realm to see what we could find and stumbled upon their website. And they actually had a version of a mule, but with their Strawberry Realm. So again, I want to shout out the Roman Roman Candy Realm Company for the recipe, but yet I know we're using here Largo Bay Strawberry Realm. So it's just pretty simple. It's going to be a, just like a mule. It's just what we're going to replace here. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to make two all right, well, that's pretty much the whole bottle. So, and like I said, if you watched me last year, you knew I had a pre pretty much a pretty heavy hand. So, their recipe calls for a little bit of shaking, shaking, shaking. You know, make sure we got our rum, our lime juice, and that nice cold burr. It's because it's winter time. Shaker, nice and cold. Yeah. If you don't have a metal shaker, then make sure you make sure you get one. All right, so it's coming out clear. Again, we talked about it tasted like strawberry, but it's not coming out color like strawberry. So, but the, the bottle does say it is charcoal filtered, so it would remove any other kind of colors from that would come out of the, the uh, distilling and making process. So again, this is a 21% alcohol by buy-in, 42 proof, so not too strong. So you probably, you know, probably can drink quite a few of them here. So we're gonna go ahead and top this off with some ginger beer. And we're gonna see what this tastes like. This should be interesting. Again, you got a little bit of lime juice going on here. We got a little bit of, I'm gonna hand one off to my drink taster elf over there behind the camera. And we're gonna give this a try here, so cheers. It's interesting, cause I don't know if I had a little bit too much ginger beer in here, the right proportions maybe. Cause now you almost don't have, don't really taste the strawberry. Maybe too much lime. Maybe too much lime, yeah. So, so maybe we may have to try this again. Again, this is available at Total Wine. You can pick up the, you can pick up these little mini bottles for like a buck, um, or a 750 milliliter bottle for basically uh, 10 bucks. So it's not a whole lot. Well, in that case, you might as well just buy the full bottle if, if you know if you really like that straw. If you like strawberry, just pay the extra, you know, eight nine bucks. But again, you can get this at Total Wine and other, a lot of other places here. Again, I know a lot of rum enthusiasts probably won't be really keen on this. It's not kind of, you know, again, there's a lot of range of, for rum, but it's probably a good drink, uh, you know, to try to make some of their other flavored cocktails with some of the stuff they have from Largo Bay. Again, if you're looking for buy some rum just to make some mixed drinks with, maybe this is something to go with rather than paying, you know, maybe for a Bacardi or something like that. Again, if you got looking at your pricing. So, again... We may have to try this one later, but um, maybe I have to buy a little bit more than just the sample one. But again, it's not as strong as maybe what we probably normally put in a mule. You know, the obviously, obviously it's a lower ABV. So who knows? It's worth a try. Again, some of them may not always turn out as you, uh, again, if you watched last year, some of the drinks weren't at all. Not all of them could be winners, right? We don't all, we all don't get a trophy but maybe a participation trophy. All right. So what do we got going on here for day two? Let's find out. Vanna. That's me. Day number two. And again, remember, 
I don't know what's in these bags. I'm finding out just as much as you're finding out at the same time. The elf stuffed all the stockings or the bags. All right, so here we go. Day number two. We have Wicked Dolphin Mango. Oh, okay. So again, that's Wicked Dolphin. They are a Florida-based company there. Probably one of the uh, oldest rum companies here in Florida. They've been around quite a while. And if you, hopefully, if you do listen to the podcast, check out the episode there with Paul Cottrell. He is one of the distillers at the, uh, the Wicked Dolphin locations over there in Cape Coral. So this is a mango one. So this is actually going to be probably pretty interesting. You know, again, I'm not going to throw it into a, the blender with some ice and it's going to really muddle it and get lose the taste out of it. But, you know, they've got a lot of all natural stuff that they're making over there. So um, we definitely probably go to their website because I know we talked about on the podcast a lot of the cocktails that they really make. And that's that's a really good thing as far as a rum company who's making mixed drinks with it, you know, teaching local bars who want to sell their products about how to try the different, what cocktails to make with their drinks. So again, Wicked Dolphin Mango, tune in there tomorrow to find out what we make with this drink. And tomorrow, so if you're watching this now, it will be December 2nd, which is Thursday, which means tomorrow is December 3rd, the third, third day. But it also means it's Friday and it's our biggest happy hour in a half an hour live show over on Facebook. So tune in. Fridays are, are uh, this episode is our end of the month top fan recognition giveaway. And we got some swag from Ology. They are a distiller company up in Tallahassee, Florida. So they make uh, some white rum. They actually make quite a few different spirits there as well. They've got a brewery too. Uh, so really good, good, uh, good folks up there. Uh, so be staying tuned. We'll be interviewing Jason Grant, who's a, uh, is a uh, owner of the company and distiller and so forth so again thanks to jason and the guys up there for hooking us up with some swag for tomorrow night's giveaway so tune in over on facebook for our biggest happy hour and a half an hour at 8 p.m eastern time so again find out tomorrow also what we're making with our wicked dolphin mango and until then cheers and where the backbeats meets the spirits